Hi all, this is a quick video to go over the navigation in the new Profit Seeker option in Journalytics. This option is for the page users only. It is eventually going to replace the My Dashboard option. It is a more interactive set of charts. What we're doing right now, it's not complete, it's in beta. We're just releasing it so that people can get a good feel for the navigation. What I'll do first is we'll look at the pie charts. Whether the pie charts or donut charts work, you can see a lot of options on a chart like this, but we don't put all of the different things on a chart. If there's too many to display, we'll actually say others. So you can see 13% of this donut chart is others. And if I want to click on there, I can then see those and 5% uh, and see those. So we don't clutter the donut charts up too much. So you can go click on others. To go back up, you can click previous. If you want to select items, so for instance, we've got base symbol here. Um, I can see here that the ES, NASDAQ, and gold uh, are the three biggest traded items. So by clicking those three, all of the other charts are now filtered by S&P, NASDAQ, and gold. And to remove those filters, I can actually click here and reset filters. Uh, or I can uh, select there, and then I can unselect. If you want to select multiple items, just click the, uh, the, the shift key when you're clicking. Okay, and you can obviously click anything uh, to impact the other charts. So I could say, um, I can see here I've got uh, short trades and long trades. Um, and if I click just the long trades, then everything will uh, change to represent those long trades. Let's take that off. Now the other thing you can do on a timeline is you can actually select a period on a timeline. You just click underneath the scale, hold down the mouse, and drag it across. Okay, and then what I can do, you can do that on the other chart. I can select October here. Uh, the, I can see there's this little period here where there's a little more PL, so let me just select that. And you can actually select right down to the time of day if you want. I mean, if you're really a high frequency trader, you could select down to, um, you know, right down to seconds. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, you really need to, but you can actually select. So you can actually have all of your data, trading data for five years, and zoom down and look at one second and then zoom back up again. Um, so that's effectively the way we navigate this. It's not complete. It's just out there to let you try out the navigation and to get feedbacks on what other kind of charts you'll get. We plan to finish this in about two weeks time. So thank you for your help.